Hello everyone, Act 17 Apologetics and welcome to Central London. It might just be me, but things look like they're getting uh, a lot more Islamic around here. And really, I have no problem with that. If Islam is a religion of peace and uh, there's, no, there's no stifling of personal rights or anything of that sort, I have no problem with that. But it seems like that's not the case. Here, the more and more Islam takes over, the more it seems like free speech, one of the great bastions of this nation, the UK, is slowly being stifled. A great example of this is with the member of parliament, Gert Wilders. Now, Gert made a video, a movie called Fitna, which was very offensive to many people. I don't agree with everything that Gert Wilders has to say, but I do think that he should be able to come here to the UK and discuss whatever he's saying in person. However, Gert Wilders was not allowed to come to the UK even to discuss anything. He was actually coming to discuss the movie and any Muslim who wished to say it was offensive could have done that. But the man was not even allowed, though he's a member of parliament in the European Union, not even allowed into the UK. This stifling of free speech is not just with him, it's been happening for a while now. Last year, two preachers tried to come and share Christianity with people here in London, and a policeman stopped him and said, it is not right for people to be able to stop uh, Muslims and try to convert them to Christianity. He said, it's a hate crime, and for that reason, the preacher was stopped from preaching his, uh, Christianity. Now, do we see the same thing on the other side? Do we see Muslims uh, expecting the same thing in reverse? No. In fact, just last month, Anjum Chaudhry, uh, a well-known Muslim here in the UK, tried to convert an 11-year-old boy to Islam. He did it on video, and in fact, the boy did convert. He converted to Islam on video, an 11-year-old child. Now, was Anjum Chaudhry charged with a hate crime? Absolutely not. It was perfectly fine for him to do that. And you see this double standard seems to happen more and more as Muslims begin to permeate certain areas. Now we see a parallel to that in the United States. In fact, in Dearborn, Michigan, a gentleman uh, was trying to uh, ta tell us just the other day on uh, email that he and his family had been attacked by Muslims and no hate crime was charged against them simply because the people who attacked him were Muslims. It seems to be that both in the United States and here, hate crimes are something that apply only to non-Muslims. Uh, and in fact, we've seen that happen here in London. Just the other day, while Dave and I were here in London, uh, a statement was made telling the police to try their best not to charge Muslims with hate crimes in order to kind of reconcile uh, any tensions the Muslims might have with the government. So hate crimes here in the UK, in the United States, are not being leveled against Muslims. And it seems to me that, that England is kind of a little bit further up on the scale, the evolutionary scale, the change that happens when Muslims start taking over a greater percentage of the population. Right behind London is Dearborn. And we've been told that by the people who see our website. They say that, hey, we are in London. We saw the things that were happening in Dearborn happen here in London not too long ago, and now look where we are. I think that we need to be very careful. We need to address things regarding free speech now in the United States before they come to the point where we're not even allowed to charge anyone with hate crimes for fear of making them angry. This is Act 17 Apologetics, and how about you take a look at this ATM.